Twilight and Harry Potter and now this, would you say that you know how to pick these YA to film adaptations? Um, I, um, I'm, I just think I'd probably lucked out. <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've been able to be on the peripherals of a lot of like really great projects and projects that I wanted to be a part of. Um, but this for me is, I'm playing the lead, I'm playing the male lead in a big studio movie and it's pretty scary, like, pretty scared about that. <laughs> Have you ever auditioned for any others? Yeah, I wanted to be Edward Cullen. I did, it's why it's when, it's when they asked if I wanted to go back and be in, be in the movie for number two. I said yes, because I was desperate. I was so desperate to be in it. I'm like trying to picture that role with you in it. I don't think it, it would be very different. I think, yeah, I think, I think that would have really, really riled people up a bit. I can't see anyone else but Rob doing it, but like, I, looking at myself doing it would be really good. <laughs> Could you tell me a little bit about getting into Jason's head a little? Do you, like, what, what is your preparation process when you want to jump into a role? Um, for everyone, it's sort of different. Um, for this, I... I always have to take elements of myself and put them in the characters to make it relatable to me, to make it not easier, but to make it so it's not like I'm acting, you know? Because I can smell acting, I can smell it, it smells like shit, like it's not a good smell. Like, I, I would rather sit there and like actually feel for somebody and feel the emotion. So, um, the preparation for Jace, physically I was, I was out of shape, I got in shape, I did four months of training, I did like like training choreography, that had to do aerials and like all this crazy stuff. Um, and so um, that was the preparation physically. Emotionally, um, I sort of had to, I went back to the book and in the book, I mean, he's quite light, I made, I made him quite dark um, in our film because obviously we have two hours and however long to explore this world and I don't want him to seem schizophrenic. Like I want, I want him to have that sort of moment where um, where he does open up to Clary, I want that to, you know, to be uh, his weakness, his vulnerability comes through that. So that's why I made him quite dark and broody. He's kind of got like a really harsh exterior, but deep down, I mean, you always know the wheels are turning and as the book progresses, you kind of know what made him into who he is. Yeah. How is it kind of knowing that and peeling back the layers slowly? So Especially if you're not shooting in sequence. Yeah, exactly, which we weren't. Um, I'd imagine. Which is difficult. So I constantly had to be like, I said, where am I at now? Like, oh my gosh, what's going on right now? Because for Lily, for Clary, the, the, the journey is like that, but that's in every scene. Like, you know, her journey is like that, whereas with Jace, it's a lot more linear. Like, it's, it's progressive. Um, so I watched the final cut like two days ago, and um, I'm like, I'm so stoked with the way that it came out. It's so dope, like it's crazy. I, 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 and I don't say that about things that I do. I don't, I'm not into that. Like, I'm not into like, giving myself props. Um, so, it's like, to see that, to see the progression and the fact that I nailed it, Proud. Are you the kind of guy who takes pieces of the character with him after, or can you shake it off? No, 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 no. It takes. It comes with me. It comes with me. Like because I put because I didn't realize how much of Jace actually existed in me already. Um, I sort of opened up a side to me that I didn't know was there. Um, and that takes. And like Jace is dark. Like I made him really dark. Like they say. And I too. I went. I went dark. You know. Like I had to like go on holiday and like. You just, just, oh my god. Oh my god, pick up for that. Uh, but I was like drained after we shot. I was physically and emotionally like like a popped balloon. What does it take to go through Jay's detox? Um, barley. Barley and a lot of surfing. I love to surf, so. And now can you tell me about working with an ensemble cast too? Because actually what you said before kind of made me think about this. When you can smell acting on someone, what happens when, I mean you can't control anyone else's process, so what happens when you're there doing your own thing but you smell acting on someone else? <laughs> um, look, everyone's got their own their own way of doing it. I can just smell it when I do it, you know, like I can see it and I, and, and I, and I don't like it, you know, it doesn't make me feel good. Thankfully, on this, every single person in this film is so strong. Like that's our, that's like I think that should be our main selling point is the fact that there is not one weak point in this movie. There's not one point where I was like, mm, could have, should have, would have. Like it, everyone's so strong. So in that sense, there is no smelling acting. That, you know, of course, when you read scripts, there are always times I hate, for instance, saying the word what. 
I hate, I can't say the word what in anything. Like, I just, I would, I would cut it. I would just, or like, or asking questions. I hate asking questions in a movie. I'd much rather be the expositional character than, than the what guy. Um, so, uh, going back to it being an ensemble cast, um, it's great because everyone's, we, we became so close, all of us. Like, we're so tight, you know, and I say that, I, you know, people say that about jobs or whatever, and half the time it's true, half the time it's bullshit. Um, but this is true, like, this is really, really true. Like, we are super tight and, like, love everyone. So now, though, you're proud of the film, you're proud of uh, Harold, but is there anything that you in particular achieved, maybe on even a smaller scale, that people might overlook that you kind of want to say, look what I did, because I pulled this off? I suppose, like, there's quite a lot of things, really, that I'm pretty proud of. Like, I don't know, I think, um, improvisation, I did a lot of improv, which worked out really well. And, um, like, everything, I'm really proud of everything that I did in this movie. There's not one thing that I could really be like. Super what about a favorite line that you improvised? Nice to, nice to meet you, or um, the word so. Like, but not the word what. Not the word what. Um, what there was one other. Oh, uh, there's an Easter egg, but I don't know if I want to ruin it. L listen for somebody's name who's involved in the film. Listen for somebody's name who's involved in the film, but it's not a character. That's all I can say.